that was good, if anything. Big, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Welcome back to another episode. It's gonna be another tournament fishing episode, so stay tuned, guys. But before we get into that, I just wanna tell you really quick, the best way to support this channel is to buy some merchandise. I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. I have some really new, cool stuff on the website. So check it out, guys. Every single purchase helps me buy new equipment to make these videos better for you guys and just allows me to fish more tournaments. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This is another tournament fishing episode, like I said, and we catch some freaking good ones. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is trash. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. To hook a bass and for it to look like that? It's upsetting. So we are one hour into this fishing tournament and we caught one tiny little dink, not a keeper. We're fishing this bank that the day before there were spawning bass everywhere. We went and pre-fished and found three to like six pounders littered all over this entire bank, locked on beds and somehow they've vanished. They're, they've disappeared off the face of the planet and we don't know what to do. So we start scrambling and we somehow stumble upon something that was a little bit special. So small. Well, it might keep though. Maybe. Please. <laughs> I will take that right now, honestly. I don't think that's gonna keep though. 14. Oh God. Oh God, I think that's easy. That's like a 14 and a half. Should I just toss her in there for now? Hey. Boom. <laughs> Please give me large bass now. Oh, there's a bass on the bed. I see one. There's literally one sitting dead center in the bed, like two to three pounder. That I cast it on there because I was like, that looks like a bed. There's a bass sitting in there. Yep, he was more to the left. He just cruised a little bit to the left. I don't know if he's still sitting on it. There was a bass. He's running the left side of the bed right now. Hold up, let me... This, if this one's locked, we'll catch it. <laughs> Nothing better to do. One, two, I'm gonna catch him. So, unless, unless you get him before I could even rig up my juice, but... I think her bed's over here. You got one? You got one? Big one? Dude, what? <laughs> big, 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 oh big, my big, god! Big, big, big. Oh my god! Dude. Oh! Oh my god! Chris, <laughs> get her over here. <laughs> yes, yes, that yes. Was a lot bigger over there. I thought it was like a six, dude. <laughs> thought it was like a. Hey, by the way, it just popped right out. Yeah, you, I knew it was. <laughs> hey, ding. Oh, go across. Aaron. Ding. Hey, uh, hey, hello. This stupid spawning bass just uh, put us on something else. There she is, watch out. Right there, like she just like <gasps> let's go to the, let's go fish the back of this. Maybe we'll come back for her. Got one? Is it a keeper? Yes. Are you kidding me? Yep. Chris, you just do your thing, man. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, yeah probably. Just, yeah, that's gotta be. That's like the same size, at least, as the one I caught. I think mine was like a little, maybe a little longer, but skinnier. I don't know. That's, that's gotta be a keeper, though. Hey. Thank you, Chris. Like, I don't even have to do anything, man. I really wish I didn't uh, miss that first one. <laughs> I'll get the fifth one. I'll get the I'll get the fifth one. Don't worry. Yup. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, man. 
That was cool, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? And that's how you get a limit, boys. Hey, let me in here. Screw that spawning fish, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> Carl's bait and tackle. Catch co baits, getting it done. A little four inch dinger. Four inch dinger for the ding. Shot up in that tree. Yo. Yeah, I flipped it right in that little crevice there. I like went to go lift it up and it was dead weight. And I was like, well, that's peculiar. That's how quick that happens. Told you I'd get the fifth one. <laughs> Just took me about 10 seconds. <laughs> I felt bad because I only had one fish and I think it was our smallest. And I, I, and I missed one earlier and then Chris picked it up for me. So I was making him do all the work, <laughs> but it's okay now. Secured the bag, boys. I was getting so nervous. Huh? Maybe it's gonna, it's gonna help. It's gonna help. Maybe. I should get rid of my one. Definitely. Yep, that's yeah. that's definitely helping. <laughs> that's gonna help. What's going on back here? Hey, buddy, they're stacked. <laughs> What's going on back here, huh? Bunch of post spawners just eating. Yeah, that's gonna be almost a pound coal, actually, probably. <laughs> that's helping. All right, this is gonna be a big pain. Let me put call tags on the little ones. Okay. What was the one that you thought was smaller? This one, right? Yeah. Yep, that one's definitely the smallest. <laughs> That's the one I caught, first first one in here. All right, hold on, we gotta know which color. Which one's next? Yeah. All right, this one's definitely going bad, guys. That's a little pipsqueak I caught right when we rolled up in here. Baby, baby. So wait, orange is bigger, so pink pink is smaller. So wait, let me, let me check this one, too. Those are all bigger. Okay. The pink is pink is smaller and orange is bigger. Pink is next to go. Dude. <laughs> Hello. Carl's bait and tackle, baby. Boom! <laughs> you don't need no Gary Yamamoto's. Get you some Carl's. Very big. Oh, it's, it's going. It's gonna help. It's gonna help. It's gonna help. Yup. That's Call definitely Colin. Yeah, that one's beautiful. That's like our two really little ones now. We don't. Have, we have like all. We have like three two pounders now, and then uh, bigger ones. But like, look at that. That fish has spawned out. Did they spawn in one day? Did did every bass in the lake literally just drop their eggs? Like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm done, because they were all locked up on beds, baby. That's a half pound coal right there. See you later. That one might be in a bed. Oh, baby. Hard snap. She wanted it hard. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna confirm in the mouth. <laughs> Took her a minute. In the mouth though, right there, baby. Clean catch in the mouth. On the Carl's bait and tackle too, son! That's a good call. So orange is going. Orange is gone, what's in the Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Then, the, then we have to bump the other the other two on coal tags, but that's a big coal right there. That's a that's a big move, baby. That might help. Hey, buddy. I'm having fun now. Ooh. She's kind of stocky. Oh wow, hook just popped right out. I don't think that's gonna help. Did you miss one? You broke off? Dude. So did you break at the leader or what? No, the hook. Dang, dude. Next to go is green. Can you open that level real quick? So we stumbled upon something that was a little bit special. We caught like 10 keepers in these two tiny little spots. And that was it. We couldn't catch another keeper fish throughout the entire lake to save our life for like the last two hours of the tournament. So we head into the weigh-in. We have a good bag, but we think that we might be a little bit short. All right. Go ahead, Bass and Bill. 
We do. We don't have big. We'll just. Put it down. Is, is it tie? Is it a tiebreaker or no? No, we'll split the money. Okay. We'll get a picture of these, right? Yeah. There you go. Yep. Fourteen twenty-two. Fourteen twenty. Fourteen twenty-two. Thank you. Thanks. Good. All right, thank you. We'll get a, I'm gonna go let him off the back here. Get him a little deeper. See you later, girls. That's not mine. <laughs> not mine. Girl, baby. <laughs> Can I my phone? <laughs> thank you. Oh no! <laughs> Fish you did you you fishing? They wetting everything though. <laughs> <laughs> he probably got the slime still. Second place with a weight Split fourteen half. twenty-two. Chris and Billy, one sixty-five. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. Where, where's Chris go? I have no idea. Uh, he, I think he's helping Carlos with his boat. Yeah. So we ended up in second place. We had a little bit over 14 pounds, a really solid bag for this lake, but we were missing a kicker. This lake's got some mass efficient. The big bass of the tournament was like a five and a half pounder. Uh, I think that, that team actually got third place with three or four fish. So we really needed a kicker to bump us up. We had a couple like two pounders that we needed to get out of there and it just didn't happen. But you cannot be too upset with the second place finish. I mean, we had a really fun day in the water. I think that we probably caught more keepers than most of the guys out there. Cause like I said, it's really tough to catch keepers on this body of water. Like catching a limit sometimes is a freaking challenge. And uh, we managed to pull like ton of them into the boat. So thank you guys for watching today's episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.